Hi everyone, this is Yana Smakula and thank you for stopping by. Let me just start by saying that bees don't have to be yellow on cards that can be any color you or me want them to be. Hence, a green and blue bee on my project today. Okay, let's start from the beginning. In this video, I'll show you how to create a fun, interactive wobbler card using stamps from Honeybee. Whenever I use wobblers on my cards, my husband wants to keep them. And since we all know that boys love their toys, it might be a great idea to use wobblers to make masculine cards super fun. Not that this, is, not that this card today is a masculine card. Honestly, I made it for a girlfriend of mine. We've been friends for a long time online friends. We've never met each other. And we're both going to Simon's STM Create event this week. And this is where we're going to meet in real life for the first time. And since we have so much in common, I wanted to make this fun We Belong Together in a Friendship Sense Away card for my friend. Anyhow, let's get started. I'm first going to stamp two giant bees from this Build a Bee stamp set from Honey Bee Stamps. This stamp set is a fun one because it lets you create funny, silly, crazy, adorable, or handsome bees. So by offering a lot of different parts and pieces, this stamp set covers a lot of different occasions. I'm using my Mini Misty stamp positioner and Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink for stamping. I will be coloring those images using Copic markers. I just got a few new colors and some refills, so my markers are all nice and fresh and ready to be used again. I'm also stamping faces, and this is what I mean. The stamp set has a lot of different face options. There's even a sad face there. So I stamped two different faces, and I only care about the mouth at this point, as I will be covering the eyes with googly eyes later. There are coordinating dies available for, for this uh, stamp set, and the coordinating dies cut even the small individual pieces. So I'm going to use my Spellminder's Platinum die cutting machine and we'll cut those out. For my coloring, I'm using just a handful of Copic markers. And as always, I'm using my go-to Copic marker color combos. There's a link in the video description to a blog post on my blog about my most favorite Copic marker color combinations. Check it if you're a beginner when it comes to Copics. I'm sharing just some of the marker combinations that work for me. So here I'm using B00 and B000 to color the wings of my bees. You can keep them white, but by adding a little bit of that light blue, it makes them just more appealing to the eye. You can also cut the wings off and replace them with vellum wings if you'd like to take things up a notch. To color my bees, I'm using cool gray colors. So I'm going to have a color stripe and a gray stripe. I didn't want to go all black here, so I'm using several shades of cool gray, and those are C7, C5, C3, and C1. I have just refilled my C1 marker, but I think because it took me such a long time to refill it, I might need to replace the nib. So I'm using a chisel nib here, as the other one just doesn't want to work. I'm hoping I won't have to replace it, but I suspect I probably will have to replace it soon. I'm using green to color one of the bees and blue to color the other bee. The colors are YG97, YG95, YG93 for the green color bee, and B05, B02, and B00 for the blue bee. So my bees are not yellow. You can by all means make them yellow and black, but I wanted to create something different, so I went with other colors here. I also used R20 to add blush and... We'll soften that color using a colorless blender marker. I want my bees to have googly eyes, so I'm going to adhere those over the stamped images. Now, for the longest time, and this is a little bit embarrassing, I didn't know that these googly eyes were self-adhesive. Now, I don't know if all of the googly eyes out there are self-adhesive, but these were, and I never knew, and I would always have problems adhering them onto my project. I, I really do feel so silly now. Anyhow, I also want to add some detail to the bodies of my bees, so I'm using a white pigment pen and just adding little dots to their backs. Again, you don't have to do this, but I feel it just adds a little more interest to the, these bees. Okay, so the rest of this project is very simple, although honestly it took me twice as long to film it, simply because I didn't know what I wanted to do. 
So I knew I wanted to create an ink blended background. So I used my mini round ink blending tool and added some soft pool ink from Hero Arts to add some color to the center of my panel. This panel is cut to four by five and a quarter inches. I didn't quite like the color that I got. So I started looking for other ink pads and then came across Nouveau embellishment mousse that I had on my table for the last three months and have never used. So I was thinking to myself, today is the day and I need to try this product to see if I like it or not so I can use it or get rid of it. My crafting corner is very limited in space, so I try not to clutter it too much and get rid of the products I don't use. So I grabbed this ink duster tool and again, I had it sitting on my desk for a long time. I did try it with my ink pad some very long time ago, but never used it since. And I decided to just dip that into that mousse and cover up that ink blending to see if I would like the color, the texture, the everything. I actually did like it quite a lot. I loved the shimmer. This ink duster, by the way, is pretty much identical to the Nouveau tool that I'm holding here. I can't tell you more about these. I'd love to tell you more, but I can't tell you more about these because again, I haven't really used them a lot. I need to, I want to, but there's just never time. So I'll, I will be sure to tell you more once I've used them more on my projects. So I added some more of this embellishment mousse and this is the color Aquamarine. And I have to say, this is so going to be my favorite product. It doesn't rub off, it shines beautifully and it is very easy to apply. I knew I wanted to stamp a sentiment onto this blended paper, but I didn't know if the ink would dry on top of this mousse. So I was very careful when I was doing my stamping, and here you can see I'm just copying what I have already stamped onto a piece of typing paper. So my sentiment says, we be long together. It comes from the be beautiful sentiment stamp set, and it really is a must have stamp set. There are a lot of words that you can combine with the word B or with an image of a B to create unique sentiments. So I also stamped another B directly onto my panel and a few other things too. Here I have a tiny wobbler. This is my last one and I need to get more of those as I just love them and I'm going to use it to adhere one of my B's onto the card. So I'm adding a wobble B directly onto the B that I have stamped onto my background. And look at how fun this is. Add a wobbler and I can seriously play with a card for hours. They are addictive, super addictive for grown-ups, not just for kids. Okay, the other B is going to be foam mounted using uh, foam adhesive squares from Scrapbook Adhesives. And I'm also going to foam mount this panel onto an A2 top folding card base. And I used just white fun foam here and adhered it using Grand Tape Runner from Scrapbook Adhesives. I used a few Nouveau drops to embellish my card. I went with Ivory Seashell and Morning Dew. The first one has gorgeous pearlescent shimmer to it, and the second one dries clear. Later, I also added strips of pattern paper. This is just paper that I had in my stash for a very long time. Now, this video is a part of a birthday blog hop for Honey Bee. I have links and details over in my blog, so be sure to check it out and join the blog hop for some fun inspiration and giveaways. I also wanted to ask you something. English is not my first language, I'm sure you've noticed, and I always try hard to, to pronounce things correctly. So if you hear me say something the way it, it's not supposed to be pronounced, please let me know and help me improve. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'd love to see what you create. If you have a project inspired by this or any other of my videos, be sure to tag me on social media. I'd love to see what you make. If you're new to my channel, please do subscribe. I have, uh, I try to have a new card making video every week. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time. Bye.